Good afternoon. May I help you? I'm so sorry. Do you have her in your possession? Is she in your freezer? Oh, okay, good. I'll keep her frozen and bring her in when you're ready. As a child, I mean, we always have pets, all kinds of pets. And I was classified the undertaker from the very beginning. And I had the duty of building the casket and digging the hole in the yard. And it was a lumber company right across from the house, so it was easy to just go get some scrap wood, build a little casket. That was always my job. Anna Marie actually gave me the name of the pet funeral home because when her rabbit died and I told her, you know, don't be upset, you know, your rabbit went to heaven. She said, oh, daddy, all pets go to heaven. And that's how I came up with the idea. Well, we're the only full service funeral home for pets in all 50 states. We are recognized by the American Funeral Directors Association as being a funeral home. And in fact, when we opened our facility and we had the signs outside and I was setting up in here, I had people come by, see our sign and laugh. They thought it was a big joke, funeral home for pets. When they come in, they actually find the funeral home. Not a sign outside that says you're a funeral home and you come in and you're a business office. The setting is that of a funeral home. Some of those same people have met with me here and made arrangements and had viewings for their pets or cremated their pets or buried their pets and uh, said, I just didn't understand what it was about until it happened to me. That's why I got her, to be my rock, like that, out of rehab. She was my rock, she was my rock. <laughs> Yesterday I came home and she greeted me like normal and um, came and popped on the bed as she normally would. I needed to go get her some more food because we had run out and we got her some imes and she didn't like it too much, but she ate it. And I told her. So I had to take a nap and I'll go get it around 6, 6.15. I fell asleep and he woke me up saying, what's wrong? What happened? That he's dead. And what? How did she die? <laughs> I just wish she had a sign or if I kept her, if I went and got the food then, and, and I feel like if I just got the food earlier. We just fed his time. You know, his name is just it's a baby. <laughs> okay, what do we do? If we're gonna go out to the crematorium on Monday, and I'll have her back on Wednesday or Thursday, and uh, you can, I'll give you my FedEx number. I'll give you. Get your FedEx number to me. Sterling, what do you want to do? Come back and pick her up? Or shy FedEx? Or... Do you want to hold her? No! I can't even look. You sure this is what you want? Yes. I don't want to bury her. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
Where is my rap gonna be now? We have a lot of gay and lesbian couples who don't have children, but look at their pets as children. And these people really feel a loss. Edwin and Sterling have had a difficult time, and uh, Betty was his rock. Okay, and this is Betty. Okay. Usually when we view a pet, what we'll do is we would take it to the preparation room, and we would um, close all the orifices. we try to do is have the pet appear as though she's resting comfortably. If, if, if you pass away at a hospital, the doctor tell you go to your funeral director or they don't tell you that in the pet world. Why? Mm -hmm. When the crematory makes their pick up, it's like it's weekly or bi-weekly pickup of all these vets. You have these crematoriums going around, like a sanitation company, these big trucks picking up pets. You're signing off your pet. You wouldn't sign off your mom or your dad like that in the hospital. This is part of the service. They come here, no additional charge. It's all involved with our charges. Compliments the service that they have in Brooklyn. You know, once you're out here, the service is just being complimented as a final. It's really pretty. A lot of people want to make sure that it's their pets that are being actually cremated. So we we sort of like tell them if they, they should come. You know, we encourage them to come and see that it is their pets that are actually being in these chambers, they do between 70 and 80 cremations at one time. People who don't want private cremation. So cremation is created by the heat that that's being produced in the back of the chamber. You can't do it in, uh, you can't make the flame itself do the cremation. You need a lot of heat in order for it to, to break down and cremate the right way. 